Hello and welcome to the International Soccer Preview by Soccer Files uh, Canada. I'm Kevin. And I'm Connor. And today we will be looking at the squad for Morocco for African Cup 2021. Right, so for people watching on uh, the YouTube, uh, we will keep a very simple graphic where we list the players' names and uh, you can actually see the names as we mispronounce them. And for those uh, listening on a podcast, we're going to try to repeat the names a few times to help you uh, familiarize with them. So the way we do this is uh, we kind of go through the players and look at some of the data that we have in the soccer files for them. And uh, using that data, uh, try to predict uh, how likely they are to make the team. So whether they're... um, Definite, likely, possible, possible but unlikely, seem to be off the squad, retired or injured. And uh, sometimes we have a category for new, a player that didn't uh, show up on our soccer files radar, but was nevertheless named to the team. So um, we'll categorize those. And then Connor is going to tell us uh, which ones... Uh, after we predict which ones uh, made it and which one didn't. Are we ready to rock, Connor? Well, let's go. All right. Well, we begin with uh, manager uh, Vahid Halil Hodit. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Yeah, Vahid Halahodjic. Halahodjic. Um, so, yeah, he's a, a Bosnian manager. He formerly played uh, internationally with Yugoslavia. Um, he's had a long career as a manager, um, and kind of alternated between club and national teams, um, coaching Ivory Coast, Algeria, Japan, and now Morocco, who he's coached since 2019. Yeah, and as Connor says, he uh, has coached those teams, and he went through the African Cup 2010 uh, with Ivory Coast. Uh, they were knocked out in the quarterfinal there, and Algeria for the... Um, uh 2013 african cup and 2014 world cup uh, algeria did well particularly in the world cup there okay so we're going to mark him as a definite uh for this one um because we don't see that changing before we begin and we're going to move on to goalkeepers and uh ranked as definite we have yasim bunu and we rank him as definite mostly because he's played nine of their 10 games in 2021 and was on the bench for the other. Yeah, he's an experienced player who has 35 caps. Um, he's 30 years old and he currently plays with Sevilla uh, in Spain. That's right. He was actually born in Connor, uh, in Canada, Connor. Oh, really? Where in Canada? Yeah. Uh, in Montreal, Canada. Oh, very neat. Yeah, and uh, he was a backup keeper in 2017 uh, African Cup and the 2018 World Cup. He didn't see any action in those tournaments, but uh, he was the starter for the 2019 African Cup. All right, next one is... um, uh, So I'm going to put him as uh, the likely starter there, Connor. Do you agree? Yeah, I think so. He started, like you said, nine of their past ten games, so um, very likely to be be the be in the squad and starting. Yeah, I guess we shouldn't uh, decide until we know whether he made the squad. But uh, next one is Munir Mohand, or he's often listed as Munir Mohammadi, and um, we have him as a possible candidate. He played two of their ten games in twenty twenty one. Uh, on the bench for six of those and not selected for the last two matches. Yeah, he uh, has previously played in uh, Spain um, with uh, Numancia and Malaga, um, but currently plays with Hatay Spor in Turkey. Um, and he has 41 caps, um, so actually slightly more uh, than Yassin uh, uh, Bunu or Bono, who we talked about earlier. Right. He actually was the starting keeper before uh, Bunu. Uh, he was the starter in the 2017 African Cup and the 2018 World Cup. But it looks like uh, Bunu take o- took over the uh, first string keeper duties in 2019 because uh, Mohand was just a substitute there. All right. Also possible is Ahmed Reza Tagnauti. 
and uh, we have him as possible uh, because he, uh, although he played none of their 10 games in 2021, he was on the bench for four of those, including the last two. Yeah, he uh, currently plays in Morocco um, with Wydad Casablanca, uh, where he's been since uh, 2017. Um, he's actually played his whole career in Morocco. Um, he's slightly younger than the other two, uh, 25 years old, um, and has just three caps uh, from Morocco so far. Yeah, despite that, he's uh, been to a couple of tournaments. He was uh, on the bench in 2018 for the World Cup and the 2019 African Cup. So it looks like he's uh, kind of waiting for his his turn. And finally, also at the possible level, we have Anas Zaniti. And Anna Zaniti uh, had played none of their 10 games in 2021, but was on the bench for nine of them. Yeah, he uh, also plays his uh, club football in Morocco, also in Casablanca, but not for Dad. He plays for Raja Casablanca. Um, and he's uh, been with the team since 2013 and has 19 caps in that time. Uh, yeah, and actually he was uh, he was on the bench for the 2013 African Cup, uh, but he hasn't uh, been selected for a cup since then. In 2019, he was on the preliminary squad, but uh, uh, didn't make it to the final squad. Okay, so that uh, brings us to the end of the goalkeeper candidate. So now let's turn and see uh, which one of them made it. All right. Well, uh, Yassine Bounou did make it. Um, and as we already mentioned, we, we think it's likely he'll be the starter. Um, Manir Mohan um, also made it onto the squad. And then um, Anaz Zaniti was initially on the squad, um, but actually had to uh, withdraw or was replaced. Um, so that's opened the door for Ahmed Reda Tagnauti. Ah, Interesting. Okay, so Zaniti out injured and Tagna Uti in um, as his replacement. So it looks like Zaniti was the uh, third keeper there, but now has lost that position. Yeah. Yeah, right. and uh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, so all the names we mentioned were clearly in contention, um, though only three of them, of course, coming to the tournament. But uh, yeah, let's move on to defenders. Right, okay. Um for central defense, the uh, top candidate, we have a couple of top candidates, actually. The first one is Neaf Ag Agurd. And we consider him definite because he played eight of their 10 games in 2021 on the bench for the other two. Yeah, he's 25 years old and he currently plays in France uh, with Rennes. Um, he has 14 caps um, for, for Morocco, uh, having made his debut in 2016. Yeah, and Nayef Agurd uh, did not make it to the squads for the 2018 World Cup or the 2019 uh, African Cup, and uh, not selected uh, for either of the preliminary squads there. But uh, he seems to have nailed down uh, a position uh, with the national team now. And finally, uh, sorry, uh, our final definite kind of candidate is Roman Seiss. Uh, he had played nine of their 10 games in 2021 and was on the bench for the last game, but looks like a definite candidate there. Yeah, one of their more experienced defenders and high profile. Um, he has 53 caps for the national team and Saiz uh, plays with Wolverhampton in England, uh, which he's done so since 2016. So part, uh, that was uh, with Wolves in the championship and of course the last several seasons in the Premier League. Yeah, so he's the captain of the squad now, actually, and he's uh, been at tournaments since 2017. If you don't mind, Connor, I'm just going to say the years, 2017 and 2019 being African Cups and 2018 being the World Cup. Uh, yeah. But he was a starter for all of, those, uh, all of those tournaments, so pretty established on the team. I think there's no doubt he, he's uh, um, going to be there. Okay, Sofiane Chakla. Uh, Sofiane Chakla is our next candidate, and we have him as a likely, uh, having first appeared on the bench in March 
Uh, he earned his first cap uh, that same month and played three of their remaining 10 games in 2021, but he was on the bench for the seven others. Yeah, those three games is only three appearances for the national team, but as you said, he's been kind of in and around uh, this this entire past year. Um, so yeah, he's he's 28 years old and he currently plays uh, in Belgium uh, with Leuven. Right, so Sophie Anchakla, a likely candidate, but um, uh, probably looks like he'll be on the bench. Okay, and then we have two uh, possible candidates, Jawad El Yamik. Jawad El Yamik uh, is possible because he played two, uh, including the last one of their 10 games in 2021. And he was on the bench for three others, though not selected for five games. Yeah, he plays uh, with uh, Real Valladolid in Spain, uh, having previously played with uh, Genoa in Italy. Um, and he has uh, 19 caps and actually three goals, so decent for a defender, uh, having yeah. made his debut in 2016. Uh, right. Even though he did make that debut, he wasn't part of the 2018 or 2019 tournaments. Uh, not selected even for the preliminary squads there. So uh, if he does uh, arrive, he looks like he would be a substitute. Uh, and now we have uh, uh, Sammy May. You may try to pronounce that name, Connor. I won't, so instead I'll spell it. It's uh, M-M-A-E-E. -E. Yeah, okay. Uh, he played one of their 10 games in 2021, but was on the bench for four others. Uh, but not selected for five games, including the last two. So a bit of an outside possibility. Yeah, after spending uh, most of his career in Belgium, he currently plays for Ferenc Varos in Hungary, um, who are among the most powerful teams there and occasionally uh, pop up in the Champions League or uh, Europa League as well. All right. Well, we have a few more other names to mention, but they're either uh, possible but unlikely or seem to be off the squad. However, uh, uh, we won't give that much information about them unless they're kind of a historical player uh, leaving the team. Then we'll give a bit more information. But um, I'll start with uh, Badr Benun, and we have him as possible but unlikely. Uh, he had returned after an almost three-year absence in December 2021 to play in the Arab Cup, but um, I, I'm not sure that... Um, will give him much consideration for this tournament. Do you want to do the next one, Connor? Sure. Next is uh, uh, Yunus Abdelhamid. Um, his, his last appearance for the national team was in October 2020. Um, he was part of the African Cup 2019 squad, but saw uh, no action. Right. And uh, Zuhair Fedal uh, played the first of their 10 games in 2021, was on the bench for the second one, and then not selected for the last eight matches. So seems to have, uh, 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 seems to be off the squad now. But we will come back and give some biographical data if, uh, if he makes the squad. One of the players who seems to have retired um, is Mehdi Banatia. Um, he's a big name, actually, former captain uh, of the team. Um, but he last played for Morocco uh, in the 2019 African Cup. Um, but yeah. he had a pretty prolific career uh, playing with teams such as Roma, Bayern Munich, uh, and Juventus uh, in a long career. That's right. And he was at all the Cups from uh, 2012 to 2019. But uh, sadly, they seem to have uh, lost his services. Uh, and same with um, Manuel de Costa. He's kind of the last of the players we'll mention and uh, last appeared for the national team in the 2019 uh, African Cup. But in fact, he was he was only ever uh, kind of a bench player, um, even though he did. Oh, no, he, he was a starter in the 2017 African Cup, but a bench player in the two cups after that. All right. Well, that's a lot of names, Connor. Are we ready to uh, announce who made it? Yeah, and Morocco brought uh, five centre uh, defenders to uh, the African Cup. Um, that includes both our definites, Nayef Aguerd and Roman Saiz. 
It also includes uh, Sophie and Chakla, who we had as likely. Um, it includes Sammy uh, May. And as well, um, it includes one player we thought was possible but unlikely, and that's Badir Benoon. Um, he was not part of the initial 25-man squad, um, but was one of three, three players added to the final squad um, as teams were allowed to take 28 players uh, to the African Cup. All right. Well, I've uh, categorized uh, Nayaf Aguerd and Roman Saiz as uh, starters, uh, Sophie Ain Chakla as a as a possible starter, and Sammy May and Bader Benoun as substitutes. Do you agree with that, Connor? I do. Um, Roman Saiz is captain. Uh, I believe will certainly start, and then Nayaf Aguerd. He he played the most games in twenty twenty one out of all the others. So I think it'll be those two that we see. Yeah. And uh, we'll 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 see when the games start getting played. But uh, uh, sorry, I had put those in the wrong category for those on YouTube. Uh, so I'm just going to fix that and move on to left back. So we have two uh, two definite candidates here too, which maybe means that uh, one of them is playing out of position. But the first one is Ashraf Hakimi. And uh, we have him as definite, having played nine of their 10 games in 2021 and on the bench for the other. He also got uh, two goals in qualifying. Yeah, he has uh, 41 caps. Um, despite his young age, he's just uh, 23 years old. Wow. Um, and he's when you look at some of the teams he's played for, it's perhaps easy to understand why. Uh, he's played for Real Madrid, uh, including a loan spell at Borussia Dortmund. Uh, Inter Milan, and currently with PSG. So um, a young player, but uh, already a star for them. Yeah, and already feels like a veteran in my mind because he's a very familiar name to me. But in fact, uh, the World Cup 2018 was his first uh, tournament. Uh, uh, but he started and finished that as well as the all games in the 2019 African Cup. So I think we can be pretty confident that uh, he'll be a, he'll be on the squad, and uh, we're also confident about Adam Messina uh, being selected. Even though his first cap was in March, 2021, he played seven of their remaining ten games and was on the bench for the three others. Yeah, new to the squad, but seems to have established himself. Uh, Adam Messina currently plays with Watford in England uh, and has done so since 2018. All oh, right, he hasn't played any tournaments, of course, having earned his first cap uh, in 2021. Uh, now, going to uh, a possible candidate is Sufian, uh, Su Sufian El Karouani. And uh, we consider him possible because uh, he first appeared on the bench in September and uh, earned his first cap in October and then played three of their remaining six games uh, while on the bench for three others. Yeah, he's um, another young player, um, 21 years old, um, and he currently plays his football uh, in the Netherlands uh, with Nijmegen. Yeah, okay, and he was actually born in the Netherlands uh, as well. Uh, okay, now we'll just uh, kind of go through the next ones quickly. Uh, Ashraf Lazar is uh, considered possible but unlikely because he played... Uh, just one of their 10 games in 2021, uh, was injured for the last five of those, so he might be an injury risk um, as well, uh, and was on the bench for one. So um, uh, besides being an injury, we had him as uh, possible but unlikely. Uh, do you want to give us the next player, Connor? Yeah, this is one somebody who seems to be off the squad. It's Abdel Kareem Badi. Um, He's uh, only 25 years old, but he last appeared for the national team uh, on the bench in October 2019. Right. He was on the uh, bench for the African Cup 2019 also, but didn't see uh, any action. Uh, and then uh, kind of a veteran leaving the team. Well, not really, but a familiar name to me uh, at least is Hamza Mendil. Oh, uh, <laughs> okay. You go ahead. Seems to be off the team, I'd say. 
Yeah, he does. Um, he last appeared for the national team on the bench in November 2020. Right. I just saw that uh, he's actually only 24 years old, but uh, he's been around for quite a while. Yeah, 20 caps for the team, but um, none recently. Yeah. Okay, well, that uh, that uh, is, what, six or seven players for the left-back position, but I imagine they're only going to bring a couple. Yeah, in fact, they, they brought three. Um, that's both our definites, uh, Ashraf Hakimi and Adam Messina, and then also brought Sofian El Karani, uh, who we um, listed as uh, possible. Right, and I think uh, Ashri Fakimi and Adam Messina are both starters. They both started a lot of games uh, uh, in 2021, so I'm guessing one of them was playing out of position. Uh, so I've coded them both as starters and uh, Sufian El Karouani as a substitute. Any any uh, objections or corrections there? No, no, no objections from me there. <laughs> Okay. Uh, with right backs, though, uh, so maybe one of those guys is actually switching positions because the, the most likely candidate we have for right back is at the possible level. And we have two there, beginning with uh, Sofian uh, Alakouch. Um, he just earned his first cap in November and uh, then played both of their remaining uh, two games. So maybe they're looking for a, a right back there, Connor. Yeah, very new to the squad. Uh, he's 23 years old, and he plays with uh, Mets in uh, France, and obviously no previous tournament participation. Right. Um, yeah. Okay, and uh, the other one is Ayub El Amloud. And uh, Ayub El Amloud uh, earned his first cap in June and played one of their remaining eight games uh, and was on the bench for four others. Uh, but he wasn't selected for the last three, uh, or for three games, including the last two. Um, do you want to introduce him? Sure. Um, he's another domestically based player uh, playing with wide dad Casablanca. Um, and yeah, just the one, the one cap to his name. Uh, he's uh, 27 years old, so a little bit older than uh, Alakouche. Right, a little late uh, joining the team there. Okay, and the only other names we have here are uh, considered either off the squad or retired, so we'll, we won't go far beyond mentioning them by name, but Fuad Chafik. Uh, Fuad Chafik is uh, 35 years old now. That's probably the reason. Uh, his He last appeared for the national team in September uh, 2019 and was never really firmly established on the squad anyway. Yeah, another is uh, Issam Chabaki. Um, he had played none of their 10 games in 2021. He was on the bench for the first two, but then not selected for the previous eight matches uh, coming into this tournament. Yeah, also seemed to have a bit of trouble breaking into the squad. Uh, but someone who uh, did break into the squad much better, but maybe retired at 35 now is Nabil Dirar. And uh, Nabil Dirar is uh, last appeared for the national team in November 2019, uh, but part of the squad from 2017, uh, and sometimes a starter, um, uh, usually a starter. And finally, uh, Nusser Mazraoui. Um, he actually made a couple of appearances in the 2019 African Cup, but last appeared for the national team in November 2020. Yeah, just 24 years old there. So um, played for Ajax in Netherlands too. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see him again sometime. Uh, maybe this time, Connor. How, how are we looking? Well, they brought three uh, left backs, but only one right back made the squad. Um, and that is Sofiane Alakouche. Okay, and we had him as, uh, yeah, our first possible candidate. Uh, well, given his participation, I think I'm going to put him as a as, uh, as a maybe. He played two games um, at the end there. What do you think, Connor? Yeah, um, perhaps, but it does seem like perhaps one of the left uh, the left backs is possibly playing out of position because they 
seem to have more appearances than any of the right backs do. Right. It does almost look like they're, they're trying players out uh, for the right back yeah. position. Okay, well, we'll move on to midfielders now. And um, we have one kind of versatile or roving midfielder. Uh, but actually, uh, he's probably in the off-the-squad category, but a very familiar name, uh, Yunz Belhanda. Uh, however, he seems to be off the squad, having last played in the 2019 African Cup. Do you want to just tell us a little bit about him, since he's a veteran? Yeah, 58 caps um, between 2010 and 2019, so definitely part of the, uh, part of the national team setup. Uh, he currently plays with Adana Demirspor in Turkey, um, having previously played for Galatasaray, so one of the big, one of the biggest clubs in Turkey. Uh, before that, um, and before that, he was with uh, Dinamo Kiev from 2013 to 17. Right, and he was involved in most of the tournaments from 2012 onwards, but was injured in 2017. Um, yeah, but he was there in 2019. Uh, okay, well, we'll save him for uh, uh, a bit later to see if he made it or not uh, and move on to defensive midfielders. But here we really uh, don't have any strong candidates either. Uh, at the possible but unlikely level is Yaya Jabrain. And um, I'll just say he played three of their 10 games in 2021 and was on the bench for one other, but not selected for the last six. So I think we'll move on from him, Connor, and give some detail if he happens to be selected. All right. Um, one who appears to be off the squad, in fact, is uh, Yusuf Ait Um He's only 25 years old, but he last appeared for the national team in September 2019, um, having previously been part of their African Cup 2019 squad. Yeah, he started game one there, but was subbed out at 70 and lost that starting position. So um seems like he's never really uh, recovered from that. Uh, another player who seems to be off the squad is uh, El Medi Karnas. And, uh, oh, okay, well, we won't talk about him much because he plays mostly in uh, local tournaments uh, for the Moroccan team. So let's move on. Right, and then um, the last player I'll mention is Medi Burabia, who played with uh, Sassuolo uh, in Italy, um, but he last appeared for the national team in October 2019. Right, he was a starter in the 2019 African Cup, but um, again, he's another one who uh, lost his starting position uh, there, so I'm not sure we're going to see them again. Uh, let's uh, do a check-in, Connor, and see if any of these players have made it. Well, none of these players that we've mentioned so far have uh, made the squad. So we didn't consider any uh, really even possible. Um, but yeah, none made it. But let's talk about um, central midfielders uh, next and see uh, who's most likely to kind of play that uh, position. Right. Well, we have one that uh, we consider a definite, and that's Sofian Amrabat. Uh, he played nine of their 10 games in 2021 and was on the bench for the other. Yeah. Um, Sofian Amrabat, a big name from Morocco. Um, 27 caps, uh, all coming since uh, 2017. So definitely a regular uh, player for them. Um, he plays currently uh, with Fiorentina in Italy. Um, having previously moved from Club Bruges in 2020. Right, and uh, even though he seems a definite here, he hasn't actually participated in tournaments that much. Uh, he appeared only in Game 1 in the 2018 World Cup. Uh, he was subbed in at 76, interestingly, to replace his injured brother, Norden Amrabat. Um but and then in 2019 he wasn't selected even for the preliminary squad so seems now to have secured a spot with the squad okay uh the likely uh, a likely candidate is uh imran Luza. uh you know i'll get back to that imran Luza uh first appeared on the bench in september and had earned his first cap in October, but then went on to play all five of their remaining games in 2021. 
Yeah, and in fact, scored two goals in that time. Um, mm. So pretty good showing. Um, he currently plays with Watford. Um, he was a summer signing, having moved from Nantes in uh, France before that. Uh, and he's only 22 years old, so a young player. Right. So uh, born in France, but hasn't played in any tournaments, but uh, seems to have worked himself into the squad quite quickly there. Yeah, definitely. And he's uh, yeah worked his way into the Watford squad as well, making a few appearances for them already. Yeah, okay. Uh, now, in the possible but unlikely is uh, Walid El Karti. Uh, he returned after more than two year absence in December 2021 uh, to play in the Arab Cup, but hasn't uh, broken into the um, the team as far as we can see. Although I have seen a couple of teams, Connor, that uh, uh, did kind of bring in players from the Arab Cup. Uh, you know, uh, I think if they performed really well there, uh, they became a consideration for this squad. But generally, um, generally, there's not a lot of crossover between those two. Yeah, most of the the, the top players from Morocco did not participate in that uh, Arab Cup. But you're right; it's a great uh, showcase, a great chance to try and uh, you know perform well and uh, see see if you can kind of if that takes you into the more regular squad and. You know, with the African Cup coming so close after the Arab Cup, it's certainly a, a great audition. Yeah, and uh, if he did perform very well there, we might see him here. Um, now, uh, Nassim uh, Boujelab, Boujelab, sorry, uh, is is uh, off the team. It seems uh, last appeared for the national team in November uh, twenty twenty. So, kind of came uh, quickly and went quickly, but he's only twenty two. So. He might um, make inroads a bit later on. Do you want to do the next one, Connor? Yeah, next is Anuar Tuhami. Um, another one who came in quickly and left quickly. Just two caps. Um, and he last played in September 2019. Right. And we have a couple of veterans kind of on the way out here. So the first one is Mbarak Busufu, uh, Busufa. Um, he last played in the 2019 African Cup. Uh, and I think he might have actually stopped playing uh, club soccer as well, Connor. Yeah, it definitely seems to be retired if that's the case. Yeah, uh, 37 years old, uh, looks likely. Sorry, I thought we were going to give details, but uh, we won't unless they return. Uh, do you want to do the next one? Sure. Next is Kareem El Um He played in all their uh, major tournaments, it seems, from 2012. Uh, onward up to 2019, um, but the African Cup 2019 was his last appearance. Yeah, and he's 36 years old now. So, um, all right. Well, let us see how we did uh, in our predictions. All right. Well, um, two central midfielders made the squad. Um, that's Sofian Amrabat and uh, Imran Luza. So the two we uh, we. Uh, identified as uh, definite and likely. All right. Uh, that does seem to leave them a bit thin in the midfield, especially since we have no uh, central, or oh, sorry, defensive midfielders. And in fact, there um, is one other central midfielder who they've added. Oh, okay. Um, and this is a player who's never appeared for them. Um, no caps. Um, and this is a 21-year-old 20, um, Azadeen uh, Unahi, um, he plays with Angers in France, um, and yeah, new to the squad, so kind of a surprise inclusion there. Yeah, uh, the player uh, is a surprise, but uh, he, I mean, even with him, they seem a bit uh, thin in the midfield, but um, uh, definitely seem to need to add a player there. So uh, I would uh, guess he's going to be a substitute but maybe they'll maybe they'll need of course there's always uh midfielders on the left and right and wingers who who come into that position so you can never be sure these designations uh titles are just kind of a guide rather than a rule all right let's look at uh, left midfielders and we only have one name there, and he seems to be off the squad, so I'll deal with it quickly. It's uh, Amin Harit. Uh, Amin Harit last played for the national team in November 2020. Uh, he was on the World Cup squad, but um, has been off the squad 
uh, maybe for quite a while because he didn't make the African Cup in 2019 either. Okay, uh, that's Amin Harit. Uh, we'll come back and check whether he made it, but it seems doubtful. Uh, let's move on to right midfielders. And uh, we have a few candidates at the possible, two candidates at the possible level. Uh, you may be surprised by one uh, corner just being possible. But the first one is Mohamed Chibi. Uh, Mohamed Chibi earned his first cap in November and played one of their remaining two games in 2021 and was on the bench for the other. So perhaps coming into the squad, uh, Mohamed Chibi. Yeah, he plays his football with uh, uh, Far Rabat or F-A-R Rabat in Morocco. Right. Uh, and now the other one is uh, Hakim Zayech, which uh, I was... I was um, uh, surprised to see as just a possible candidate. Uh, he, of course, is the Chelsea player, but he only played the first uh, four of their games in 2021 and was not selected for the last six matches. Uh, he scored three of their 10 goals in qualifying, though, and was the sc uh, top scorer for the team. So uh, any idea what's going on there? You'd think he would be a definite corner. You think he would? Um, yeah, the Chelsea player with 40 caps and 17 goals to his name. Um, I have uh, heard, though, that he had a bit of a falling out with the manager, which is the reason he wasn't selected for their last six matches, um, which I believe were were um, World Cup qualifiers. Right, so, that's right. So um, I think that's um, the reason for it. And if that continues, then, uh, yeah, his place at this tournament is in doubt. Yeah, well, he uh, actually didn't make the African Cup team, even though he uh, first played for the uh, Morocco since 2015. I should say he didn't make the 2017 African Cup, uh, but he was a starter in the World Cup and the 2019 African Cup. So, uh, yeah, uh, falling out with the manager is the only reasonable explanation there. Okay, and maybe you can do the last one because it seems to be a veteran leaving the team. Yeah, and that's Norden Amrabat, who's nine years older than his brother, uh, Sofian Amrabat. Um, yeah, his, his last appearance for the national team was in 2019, um, and he is a bit older, um, 34 years old. Um, so yeah, 50, 64 caps uh, he's got for the national team, but uh, none coming in their, their recent set of matches. Yeah, and a starter uh, in the African Cup all the way since uh, 2012. Um, there, Even in 2019, he was a starter. So a bit of a loss uh, for Morocco uh, there. But let us see uh, who has made the team in the midfield. Um, well, I guess I'll start with Hakim Ziyech because he did not make the team. Wow. Um, so, yeah, very surprised. Um, but then the only other uh, right midfielder there is Mohamed Chibi. Um, he was not part of the initial 25-man squad, but added later. Um, so makes up the 28-man squad going to Cameroon. Okay. Well, that sounds like a, kind of a substitute level of involvement. And uh, I still kind of can't get over how many, how many, how few players they have in the midfield there but maybe we'll find a few more among the left and right wingers so uh well for left wingers we have zachariah abdukal uh abduklal i should say and uh we consider him a likely um no i think we should consider him possible because he only played four of their 10 games in 2021 oh but he was on the bench for six others so participated in all the games, but not really as a starter. Yeah, he is young, though, 21 years old, um, and currently plays with uh, AZ Alkmaar in the Netherlands. Right. He also got one of the goals in qualifying. Okay, next one is uh, Sufian Ram Rahimi. Uh, we considered him possible um, because apart from his African Nations Championship and Arab Cup games, they're both kind of local uh, tournaments. He played two of their 10 games in 2021 and was on the bench for three others but not selected for five of them including the last three. 
Yeah, um, he plays for Al Ain in the United Arab Emirates, having uh, previously played in uh, Morocco. Um, yeah, just made his debut in 2021, um, but not uh, many appearances recently, like you said. Yeah. Okay, and then the next candidates are all uh, unlikely or or off the squad. So first one is Ismail Al Haddad. And uh, he had returned after a two-year absence in December 2021 to play in the Arab Cup. So we kind of had a discussion about um, crossover there. I guess if he played exceptionally well, he might be a candidate here. Yeah, and then a couple um, players who seem to be off the team. Uh, Zakaria Hadraf, um, he last appeared for the national team in March 2019. Um Right, okay, yeah. and uh, uh, Abdelayla Hafidi um, is another player who seems to be off the team. Uh, again, our, our African Nations Championship and Arab Cup games, so seems more of a um, a local player, and he last appeared for the national team, the, the main national team in March 2019, so uh, a bit of a doubt, uh, unlikely there. And then as well, uh, Moha Rasala, whose one and only cap came in 2020. Right. So sometimes it's a bit hard to uh, distinguish uh, uh, some of these guys who play locally because they actually do get caps uh, for the national team if they play in the African National Championship or, or in something like the Arab Cup. So, uh, for example, Abdelayla Hafidi looks like, oh, wow, this guy's got 22 caps. For the national team but he's never played really in a tournament um so um it can be a bit deceptive should we do right wingers or check on those left wingers first um we can do uh the, together because i don't think our right wingers list is uh very long oh it isn't yeah in fact we just have one candidate usama tanan or maybe tanani and uh, he's considered possible but unlikely. So we'll just say uh, on top of being unlikely, he played none of their games in 2021 but was on the bench for two games. And uh, he was also suspended for the last five. So unlikely on two counts there, Connor. Yeah, I would agree with you. And uh, just for reference, he plays the football with Vitesse in the Netherlands. Okay, well, again, uh, uh, well, we'll see how many of these guys made it, but I'm kind of feeling the middle of the pitch is a bit empty for uh, Morocco. Yeah, and, and not many did make it. Um, the only two players involved um, of the wingers we identified are Zakaria Abdouklal um, and Sofiane Rahimi, who was one, of, who was a third player that was added after the 25-man squad was announced. So. Um, Abdouklal we consider likely and Rahimi possible, but both are part of the squad. Yeah. Okay. Well, it'd be very interesting to see uh, who actually starts in the midfield because it uh, doesn't seem to me they have enough uh, uh, personnel uh, to start it. But we have seen they have a lot of players kind of uh, retiring or on the way out. So uh, maybe they're a bit of a rebuilding phase. Mm-hmm. But we still have attacking midfielders to look at, and uh, we're going to start with Eamon Barcock, and we consider him definite. He played all ten games, uh, all ten games in two thousand and twenty-one. Sorry, um, just before we go on to the attacking midfielders, um, I I should mention um, that one other uh, winger was added. I'm oh, okay. To, um, bring the midfielders to a close. And that was Tariq uh, Tisudali. Okay. Um, and yeah, he's a player with uh, no caps um, for Morocco, so brand new to the squad, even though he's 28 years old. Oh, okay. And I see uh, he's on the on the left wing there. That's right. So one more player for uh, still a pretty small midfield. Yeah. And... Um... I guess we'd we'd have to consider him a substitute, hey? Yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Uh, now, where did we leave off with uh, Eamon Barcock? Did we? I said he played all ten games, and 
uh, but we didn't uh, give any info about him yet. Yeah, no, sorry to interrupt you there. No, I'm um, glad you did. Yeah, Barcock is uh, 23 years old. Yeah, a regular for them in all of 2021. Um, and he currently plays with Eintracht Frankfurt. Uh, he has 14 caps for the national team and all coming since 2020. So really seems an established member of the squad. Yeah, very quickly uh, established himself there. Okay, the next one is uh, Elias Chayar. Um, we consider him likely because uh, even though his first cap was in June, uh, he played seven of their remaining eight games in 2021 and was on the bench for the one other. Yeah, actually, I think it's it's uh, the name is exactly how it is in English, just Ilias Chair. Oh, uh, here I was trying to be, uh, I was trying to be culturally sensitive. <laughs> yeah, and he's uh, he's a player who plays in the English Championship, so someone I'm uh, familiar with. Uh, he plays for uh, Queens Park Rangers. Um, yeah, a good attacking midfielder, always a goal threat, and diminutive as well, just five foot two. Oh, really? Yeah, so great. Small. I love I love when you come in with some of that uh, championship information. It's great. Yeah, of course, following Cardiff City is my passion, and that's that's the league they're in. But yeah, he's he's a very good player for uh, uh, for QPR, and and seems to be a good player for Morocco too. Um, since debuting in twenty twenty one, he has seven caps and one goal to his name. Right. Well, both of those guys uh, maybe maybe answer my question about the empty midfielders because they've been. Uh, uh, consistently playing, even though they're fairly new to Morocco, so be interesting to see them play. Uh, we do have a couple of possible candidates. One is uh, Salim Amala, um, and he played the first uh, eight of their ten games in 2021. Was injured for one of those and not selected for the last match. So, eight of their ten games, Connor. I think I'll move him up to likely. Yeah, I think you can uh, do that. Um, yeah, he has 12 caps and three goals since making his debut in 2019. So, again, someone who seems to be new to the team but quickly established himself. Uh, and he plays with standard Liège in Belgium. Right. Brand spanking new midfield for Morocco here. Uh, but not so new to the team is uh, another possible candidate, uh, Sophie Mbufal. Uh, he returned after a two-year absence in September to play all six of their remaining games in 2021, uh, though he started only one of those. Yeah, so interesting. Yeah, substitute, sorry. No, I'm uh, just going to say kind of opposite um, of Ziak, who played regularly except for the last six matches. And then you have a guy like Buffel, who wasn't part of the team and came in for the last six. So um, possibly a replacement for Ziak of some sorts. Um, he's yeah, a, yeah, he's a talented midfielder um, who had a spell with Southampton in England, but currently plays with Angers in France. Yeah, uh, for the second time, actually. Uh, returned to Angers. Um, okay, so uh, he looks like more of a substitute, even in those uh, six uh, games he, he uh, started only one. Uh, here's a name, uh, speaking of QPR, Adele Tarap has... Uh, come back to the uh, Moroccan team recently. He played four of their 10 games in 2021 and was on the bench for one of those. But maybe it was fleeting, Connor, because he was not selected for the last five. Yeah, interesting. I'm curious to see uh, whether he'll be there. Um, I mean, a bit of a temperamental player, but at his best, uh, one of the most talented players around, really kind of whichever squad he's with, um, absolutely uh, lit it up for QPR several seasons ago. Um, but, uh, yeah, he's fallen off a little bit. Um, he currently plays with Benfica in Portugal, so a, a decent club there. Um, but, yeah, a bit patchier involvement for Morocco, as you said. Yeah, I remember you telling me something about uh, the uh, Cardiff coach uh, commenting on him. Yeah, um, Neil Warnock uh, was manager of QPR at the time, and um, there was... Uh, PSG were interested in in purchasing him, so it just shows how well he was doing. And yeah. when discussing rumors, um, Warnock mentioned there was a big fee. I forget if it was uh, ten or maybe even twenty million, and said his comment was, "If he got that sort of money for Tarap, he'd drive him to Paris himself." <laughs> As it was, a bid never materialized, and he, he stayed with there. But he's he's moved around since QPR, um, going to yeah. uh, 
Tottenham, Fulham, and others. But a, a funny story. He uh, yeah. never did end up in Paris after all. Yeah, yeah. But I do remember him having a lot of potential. And um, it'll be definitely interesting if he makes the team. But then he seemed to kind of come, come and go there in 2021. Uh, which is why we have him just as a possible. All right, we'd better uh, move on to a couple of players uh, maybe uh, leaving the team. Medi Carcela Gonzalez. Um, you want to take him, Connor? Yeah, he last appeared for the national team in October 2019. Um, he we was part of the World Cup 2018 squad, um, but not part of a 2019 African Cup. Yeah, never uh, seemed to fully establish himself on the squad. And the last one we'll uh, mention is Omar al Kadouri. Uh, he last played in October 2020 for the Cup, but uh, even though he was a starter in 2017, he didn't make it to the 2018 or 2019 squad. So um, definitely kind of on his way out for a long time. Uh, I think we're ready to look and see which of these ones made it. Yeah, so Morocco are bringing uh, four attacking midfielders to uh, Cameroon, and they're the first four names we mentioned. Um, so that's uh, Eamon Barcock, um, Elias Cher, uh, Selim Amala, and Sofiane Bufal. So no room on the squad for Adele Tarapt. Right, and uh, I'm coding uh, the first three of those as starters. Um, do you uh, agree with that? Yeah, all of them seem to be involved, um, you know, playing playing regularly, um, you know, the majority of their games in 2021. So you probably some of them playing, you know, perhaps deeper in central midfield. Yeah. They can all be attacking. But, um, yeah, it does seem to explain some of the balance or the lack of balance in defensive midfielder, they have four attacking midfielders and three of them who seem to play in a lot of their games. So they're all on the field together. Yeah, and it might make them a bit uh, a bit more attacking than they've been in, in previous Cups, which would be good to see. Um, okay, um, yeah, let's move on to the... Uh, um, the, we don't have any secondary strikers, so we'll move directly to forward uh, forwards. And... Um, Obviously, the brother uh, of um, the brother of ah, what was his name? Uh, Sammy. Thank you, Sammy May. Is uh, Ryan May again? Uh, not sure if I'm saying that right. It's M M A E E is the spelling. Uh, but anyway, he returned after a five-year absence in September to play all six of their remaining games in 2021 what that means connor is that he played uh his first cap in 2016 and then disappeared for five years and now came back seemingly as a starter wow that's very interesting um and he plays actually with his brother with ferenc varos in hungary um so they're uh teammates at the club and national level now interesting uh great well uh let's go to even though he looks like a a, a, um, a definite um munir el hadadi is a likely candidate uh, he earned his earned his first cap in march and had played eight of their remaining 10 games in 2021 and was on the bench for the two others so um uh i might move him up to definite too what do you think yeah, with that sort of involvement, I think it could be. He only made his debut in 2021, but then was involved in all uh, um, in, in all games since, basically, um, yeah. either starting or on the bench. Uh, he has two goals from his eight caps, so that's not a bad return either. And he currently plays with uh, Sevilla in Spain. Yeah, and in fact, he was not only born in Spain, but he played one cap for the Spanish national team in 2014 so i think uh once you've done that you have to wait for five years to change teams is that right connor it depends i think too whether the game was a friendly or not i'm not sure all the rules but i know now if you make a friendly it basically doesn't lock you into a country yeah yeah you're, you're right that's the rule now i wonder uh uh if you played a friendly in 2014 whether it's kind of retroactive uh mm -hmm. there 
But I know a lot of national teams, they tried to hook a player into playing a game. And maybe that's what happened with uh, Ryan May. Uh, they, the national teams tried to get them to play one uh, one qualifier or one, one game, and then they, they kind of had them. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll move on to the uh, next candidate, Ayub al Kabi. Ayub al Kabi returned after a two-year absence in March to play six of the uh, remaining 10 games, including the last uh, five. Uh, and then he was on the bench for three others. So another um, very consistent player. I'm going to put him as a likely yeah, very good goal scoring record. 19 goals across 28 caps. Um, so that's quite impressive. Um, that's almost, you know, two goals every three games. Um, he currently plays his football with Hatay Spor in Turkey. I think that's the second one, second time you've mentioned that team. Okay, next one is uh, at the possible level Ashraf Ben Charki. Ashraf Ben Charki has played five. Uh, five of their 10 games in 2021, though only for a total of 35 minutes. So uh, coming in as a sub for all of those games. And he was on the bench for two others. Uh, but he might uh, he might be um, a solid bench player, Connor. Yeah, probably if he does make the squad, the bench is where he's most likely to play. Um, and that's not just because his name is Ben Charkey. Um, yeah. We should mention you couldn't resist could you <laughs> i i'm not with a name like that um yeah he has 19 caps and one goal having made his debut in 2017. all right uh now um a player with a bit more experience and i'm really not sure i've never been sure how to say his name uh do you have a shot at it corner i'll say uh faisal uh fadger okay yeah i thought it was faisal but I wasn't sure about the last name. Uh, uh, yes, he played four of their 10 games in 2021. Actually, uh, quite experienced with the team, but only four games in 2021 and on the bench for one other uh, and not selected for five matches. However, those were the first five matches. Uh, so he, he kind of came back into playing there. Right. Yeah, he's... Um... A little bit older, 33 years old, and he's played for a number of clubs in Spain and France, though currently plays with Sivaspor in Turkey. Right. And then uh, a couple of other names to go through, though. There, uh, No, I'm going to actually go down to uh, Yusuf N. Nesri. And we have him as, uh, well, whenever someone's injured, you, you don't know uh, how likely they are. Uh, but um, if he was fit, we, we had him as likely. Uh, he played the first five of their 10 games in 2021, but was injured for the last two. Um, so we're not dead sure. And he had scored two of their goals in uh, qualifying. Yeah, he's a player with a, a decent goal scoring record, uh, 11 goals and 40 caps, but also a very good goal scoring record with his team Sevilla, um, a name we've heard or a club we've seen already. Um, so, yeah, I think injuries aside we would we, we would expect him to be in the squad so hopefully the the injury doesn't keep him out yeah he seems to be a player uh, improving with age because he was just a sub in 2017 uh, and 2018 but then was a starter in 2019 and and has moved up to sevilla in the meantime so uh not really sure where to place him but we we generally place um uh, injured player in the uh, possible category, but a bit a bit different than the other possible players. Okay, and then possible but unlikely is Walid Azaru, and we'll just say of him that he returned after a more than two year absence in December 2021 to play in the Arab Cup. So another Arab Cup player there. Yeah, Rashid Aliouei is another player. Um, whose uh, last appearance for the national team was in November 2019. Okay. And uh, Yusuf El Arabi. Um, uh, had played for the first two of their 10 games in 2021, but wasn't selected for the last eight matches uh, uh, there. Yeah. Um, he's 34 years old. 
um, and he plays with Olympiakos in Greece, um, but has 47 caps for the national team since 2010. But um, yeah, it doesn't seem to be as involved uh, recently. Yeah, I mean, he. Um, I don't mean to disrespect him with 47 caps, but uh, he was a sub in uh, 2012, 2013, 2017, and didn't make the squad in 2018 and 2019. So he seems for a while to have been uh, make, uh, kind of drifting off the squad. Okay, uh, maybe I'll do Abdurazak Hamdala. Um, last played for the national team in June 2019. Yeah, Usama Idrissi is another who last played in November 2019. Okay, and uh, both of those guys have a bit of experience in tournament, but um, uh, seem to be off. And the last one we'll mention is uh, Khalid Boutai, and uh, he last appeared in the 2019 African Cup, so a lot of forwards um, uh, probably no longer uh, with the squad there. Yeah, lots of names for forwards, but I can tell you who they did bring, and there's uh, five players. Oh. Um, so that includes both of our definite players, uh, Ryan May and Munir El Haddadi. It also includes Ayub El Kabi, who we listed as likely. Uh, just one of our possible players uh, uh, made it. Akraf Bencharki did not, but uh, Faisal Fadger did. All right. I'm not really surprised there. And then Yusuf uh, and Nezri, who we, was an injury concern, um, he is on the team, which makes sense uh, if he is healthy or they expect him to be healthy. Right. Yeah. Uh, sometimes they do bring them injured, but hope they'll recover during the tournament. Well, I'm not that sure uh, uh, how to code them here, but I put Ryan May and Munir Al Hadidi as starters, Ayub El Kabi and Yusuf Ben Nedri as maybes, and uh, Faisal Fajr as a substitute. We may be totally wrong there, but do you have any, uh, any um, insight there? No, no particular insight. Uh insight um munir el haddadi did play eight of the remaining 10 games in 2021 so um yeah he, he would be the most consistent player last over the last uh calendar year so probably the the one name i'd expect to see uh, more likely even than ryan may yeah and actually true moroccan fans might know when we say they played eight of their 10 uh games we we don't necessarily know uh, how many times they were subbing in there. And, um, you know, I'm eventually hoping to, to uh, on this podcast, to get some actual uh, fans of the teams in so a true Moroccan fan could uh, maybe tell us um, in a bit more detail. But let's, uh, it's always a bit of fun to see how right or wrong we were. And we're going to go back over the, the squad uh just to, to go over the people we think who are probably starters for the squad. Do you want to take it away, Connor? Yeah, well, we know uh, uh, Vahid Halahajic will be the manager, and then we expect, yes, expect Yasin Bunu to be the uh, goalkeeper. Um, in defense, uh, we'd expect to see Roman Saiz and Nayef Aguard um, in the middle of defense. And then... Um, yeah, Sofane Chakla as a maybe there. Yeah. And then just uh, as you scroll down, looking at left backs, um, they seem to fit two left backs, Ashraf Hakimi and Adam Messina, um, both into the squad, even though they're both left uh, left defenders. But, you know, that being the case, we expect both of them to be involved. Okay, on the right, we have uh, possibly Sofane Alakouch, but um, as Connor says, Maybe one of those left backs will come across. Yeah, in uh, central midfield, uh, Sofian Amrabat and Imran Luza seem the most likely candidates. Right. Um, not a lot of wingers or identified wingers in the squad, but uh, Zakaria Abuklal would be the most likely um, to start from our perspective. 
Okay, and uh, it seems like uh, a lot of the defensive midfielders and central ones have been replaced by attacking midfielders, which uh, makes me feel excited that there'll be a bit more of a uh, an attacking squad this time. Yeah, um, they have a couple of players in the attacking midfield position, but uh, Ayman Barkok, Ilias Chair, and uh, Salim Amala all seem to be playing regularly for them. And then up front, um, we discuss Ryan uh, May and uh, Munir El Haddadi as the two forwards. Right, and we expect to see Ayub El Kabi and Yusuf N Nesri probably coming on as uh, substitutes uh, if they don't start. All right, well, that brings us to the uh, end or close to the end, unless you have some discussion about the team, Connor. No, um, Morocco were the seeded team. Um, in their group. So um, they come in with kind of big expectation. I think they'll, they're a team that, um, you know, we expect to go kind of far in the tournament. But if you want to hear more about our predictions and more about uh, the team in general, you can check out um, our other podcasts, um, which like this one are available on our website, soccerfiles.captivate.fm. Um, and you can also email us any comments, questions, or corrections, perhaps, um, at soccerfiles at gmail.com. Right. And as you often say, the easiest way to find us might be just to search uh, soccer files, uh, plural, at um, on Google or International Soccer Preview. That's right. All right. Well, great talking to you about this, Connor. And I uh, hope you enjoy the African Cup. Yeah. Looking forward to watching some games now. All right. All the best. Bye.